Good evening and welcome to the Whiskey Lover Society with me, Gert Retief. And tonight, Craig Allenke, 17 year old. And as you can see by my face, I'm super excited. Um, I've tried the 13, been uh, raving about it. It's really a nice whiskey. And um, well, sometimes the budget is not allowing me to get um, to a higher tier whiskey. And of course, the perfect opportunity came when I discovered a new, well, a new shop. Um, first of all, the physical shop here in Belgium. And um, having spent some time with the people working there, they also told me that if I'm interested in more samples, I must go online. They have an online presence. And um, with an online shop, in France and I started looking through all the samples that's available a huge amount of samples in different type of alcohol whiskey vodka you name it and they have it and it was I slept like a kid in a candy store that you can go look at that high-end whiskies the expensive whiskies which I will normally not be able to afford to buy that high-end whiskey and um, to then buy a sample at a quite reasonable price for me that was absolutely a bargain and uh, it made me a happy man. So tonight we are looking at the Craig Allenge, um 17 year old. What I do like about this uh, company is that they send the sample with a lot of information on the label itself but they also have a QR code and you scan the QR code and it will take it to a website directly to the bottle in question and with all the information that you need. Absolutely fantastic idea. Now, this is a 17 year old natural color nonchal filter ticking all the boxes. And when we talk about the maturation, and I'm going to have to read it for you, it's a, a initially matured in a mixture of ex bourbon cask, of course, and then they have a little bit of a sherry cask, 50-50 um, ratio, and then they blend, is then finished in first full sherry cask, and the other 50% in first full bourbon cask. So, yeah, they definitely ticking my boxes, um, put cherry on anything, it makes me a happy person. So on to the whisking, color-wise, um, it is a 17-year-old, and if you look at the color, it is a little bit of a surprise for me. 17-year-old, ex-bourbon, ex sherry cost on the finish as well, not a lot of color. That's the first thing that I noticed. If it was, uh, well, if somebody put this in front of me and told me that 17 years old, Sherry Cos influence, I would, would be a little bit surprised. Um, it is a little bit on the light side. It is natural color. And of course, it's bottled at 46% ABV. Of course, it is a light whiskey. But been looking forward to this one. Now, I ordered all these bottles when I was away on holiday, so I was quite excited like a kid. I want to try all of them at the same time. But on the nose, wow. It is really nice. It is my type of whiskey. It is so different from, well, if you go a no-age statement whiskey, where you have that harshness sometime, that little nail polish remover, none of that. It is, it has a, a little bit of a complexity to it. Every time that I go back, I seem to pick up some additional notes. It becomes sweeter and sweeter with a little bit of time in the glass. But this one, once you've poured it right from the start, sometimes you'll hear me say, I poured it 20 minutes ago. 
And the reason for that is when I pour it, I nose it immediately and there's some off-putting notes too. There's a little bit of a strangeness, a little bit of a funkiness that's not nice for me. This one is different. Right from the start, that is that loveliness that comes out, that friendliness that comes out, that tells you, drink it now, you don't have to wait 20 minutes to, well, to start the drinking. Now the first thing, that I did pick up the first time that I tried this. There was a little bit of a strangeness to me for me. It was, well, it took me some time to realize what it is. Hear me out. This is what came to mind. It reminded me of a steak on a grill with a nice fat piece that gets that caramelization, that little fatty smell, I got that on the nose. And I'm 100% sure I am the only one in history that, that got that note, but that is what I got. And I was thinking I'm going to have to ask somebody to verify that for me, but it was so pleasant. Now that's gone. I don't get any of that. And of course, um, now I want the steak. <laughs> and that thought just popped up a nice big steak. Mm, yeah, definitely a steak. But then that sweetness come in. And it's really not drinking, well, in this case, not smelling like 40% or 46%. Even if I do a little bit of an agitation, and I stick my nose right into it, it barely feels 40% for me. And it is just lovely, that dried fruit components that comes out, there's a little bit of a vanilla, some um, raisins, definitely. And um, a little spicy, a little Christmas spicy type of note, Christmas cakey type of note. A little bit of a cherry note coming out. That vanilla is definitely elevated now. And I get a little bit of a dried apricot that comes out. And if you hear some snoring, I'm trying to you have a, <laughs> a conversation. My dog, Rufi, is snoring like, like crazy next to me. So I hope you don't get it on the, uh, on the video as well. So I do apologize on her behalf. I also get a hint, but just a hint of a canned pineapples not every time but especially if i just agitate a little bit get it close to the nose just a hint of that pineapples not a fresh pineapple not a green pineapple but the canned ones a more the syrupy type of note that comes out it's like there's a lightness in this whiskey so not a sherry monster but it is just light mellow friendly inviting whiskey and I like the fact that the alcohol is not trying to take over from all this nice light flavors and the longer you wait you are rewarded with a increasingly sweeter whiskey on the nose oh my word this is really nice and um, of course we have to drink it as well cheers Mm. Oh, this is going to be a dangerous one. There's a, a light oiliness to it. I get a, a, almost a creamy note. It's almost got a little texture to it that it, it feels like I want to drink it, but then I have an urge to chew it. A little textury note. Um, very difficult to describe, but I think if you try it, you will realize what I am talking about. It's sweet, and that um, sherry cask influence is definitely there. It does show you that it got that raisiny note. Not very sweet, um, not exceptionally sweet. It's not like Pedro Ebenez sweet, but it's really a nice, well-balanced Alcohol-wise, didn't get much of the alcohol. 
Let me just try again. Cheers. I would not say this is a super complex one on the taste. On the notes, it was there was some complex notes coming out that make you think, um, that give you an, well, that's kind of nice on the nose. The taste, it's really nice. It's not complex. Um, it's um, just mellow. Everything is really mellow on each note that you pick up. The little bit of a raisins, the little bit of a caramel note. It's a little bit of a vanilla, very tiny amount of vanilla. That 46% drink like 40%. It is just a fantastic whiskey. And I'm so super excited that I found the store and I realized there's a whole world of samples waiting for me. Of course, um, it's very difficult to make so many reviews and buying bottles. Um, I'm running out of funds. <laughs> and on that note, um, please remember to like, share and subscribe. That helps. Um, I'm not buying whiskey with the Ad revenue, it goes to the children in South Africa. And if you want to do a Patreon account for the children, you're not going to get any special um, in my Patreon account, that special videos in my Patreon account. I only created that for children in South Africa. 100% of that money goes to them. 75 kids, tough times for them as well. And um, we buy them food uh, every month on the 20th. Everybody... Um, and everybody that sends me some donations with the super chats and the super thanks and all of those YouTube thingies, that money goes towards them. So please do me a favor. If you don't have any money, like, share and subscribe. Of course, um, the more people watch the video, the more money we can use for the kids in South Africa. So this one, definitely a little bit of a, let me just one more try. A little bit of a caramel and then a wee bit of a oak. 17 years old, I am super surprised. I was thinking a little bit more oaky, um, well cost managed. Um, there's no bitter notes, there's nothing that deters you from all that lovely flavors. So that's me on a Craig Allenke, 17 year old. Perfect whiskey, made for the whiskey lover, Gertrudif. So what's your opinion? Um, have you tried it? Do you think um, this is something that you would recommend for all your friends and family? Um, and yeah, just leave a comment. Let's talk whiskey. Uh, like, share and subscribe. Cheers.